Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared 204 here and welcome to another tutorial world update video. In this uh, video we'll be going ahead and discussing some of the new features and some of the new stuff that's come to the tutorial world as well as taking uh, the new download in, uh, for the world and giving it out to you guys. So uh, pretty exciting we have version 13 of the tutorial world um, which is you know pretty awesome. We haven't really done too much in terms of uh, you know adding stuff to the world compared to uh, the last update which was back in July um, a lot of the stuff I've have been doing has just been working with already made uh, pre-made vehicles and it's been a very busy uh, month to say the least for August um, so I've tried to work by do my best and work on some of the builds and stuff like that um, and get in you know trying to you know renovate some stuff and everything and I'll be showing you guys exactly what you know I'm talking about and what you know was kind of going on uh, now, uh, just a quick little side note, if you guys are interested in downloading this tutorial world, it will be downloadable. Um, there is a download link in the description of this video. So go ahead and click that link, it'll take you over to Mediafire and you can download uh, the uh, file for the world. Uh, this version does use 1.11, so make sure you guys are running game version 1.11. Um, I don't, I think it should work with any one, like 1.11.2 1 or anything like that. It should work, um, but I'd recommend not trying to go back. Um, to any versions later than uh, 1.11 because I do use some blocks that are um, you know only with 1.11 uh, such as shulker boxes so it could cause some world corruption so it's try to stay with 1.11 or above and it should work fine um, of course if you have any problems with the world be sure to let me know um, but for the most part everything's gone pretty smoothly with uh, doing the tutorial worlds and putting them out there um, anyways, if you guys do download the tutorial world, I do ask that you get, if you guys do take any of my vehicle designs on here and use them on your worlds, I still ask that you guys give me proper credit for them. Um, again, that's a sign or putting a link to my channel or, um, this video or anything like that. Um, relating back to the build, these some, a lot of these vehicles here haven't been posted on my channel yet as tutorials, but they're waiting to be tutorials and they're still my design. So I still ask that you give credit for them. If it becomes a problem, I will be, uh, you know, not doing tutorial world updates anymore. So hopefully, uh, you know, everybody will respect, you know, that I do still ask for credit for, for, credit for these and um, will abide by that. Um, other than that, let's go and take a look at what we've really been up to in the world. Like I said, it's not going to be a whole lot compared to the last one, but there is some stuff for us to go and take a look at. Um, start off with, we have the American World War II line. Um, I think I said something on uh, the community page about this, but I have been uh, starting work on renovating my... American World War II line and it's been going great so far um, so starting off with we had the uh, p-40 the p-40 was the first uh, aircraft in the American World War II line and uh, let's just say it's been renovated it's uh, been completely redone it's got a camo scheme it's got the flying tiger uh, type you know tiger design mouth on it uh, props to my friend the red deer for kind of giving me the inspiration and kind of like basic general kind of concept and idea behind putting the mouth on the front there uh, looks really good makes this build uh, really awesome. So new p40 and also with this we have the landed version Yes, it looks a bit derp, but uh, you know, it's pretty difficult as is to try to uh, Crane aircraft and stuff like that had an angled scale in minecraft So uh, a little bit of a derpy landed version of the p40, but it is um, Somewhat all right, I guess for it uh, moving on to, over to our next one, we have the A-20 Havoc. This was a plane that was built on the world. Um, I believe it just kind of sat here for a little bit um, and wasn't really put in any plots. Um, so I went ahead and I kind of renovated it a bit, uh, made it look a little bit better, and it now has a plot on the world. So uh, A-20 Havoc, you got the landed version, of course, and we also have the in-flight version uh, directly above it and uh, came out really nice for that. Uh, we have the B-26 Marauder, I believe. Yeah, B-26 Marauder. Um, really nice design as well. This was a build that was seen on the World 2 for a little while and has now finally um, been kind of redone and never was a tutorial release for it, which I guess is kind of a good thing considering I've, uh, you know, redid it and everything like that. But it's a new design, uh, pretty much new everything. I built it completely new from the ground up and it looks a lot better, that's for sure. Um, overall, really happy with the way the B- um, 26 came out and uh, pretty nice for that. Uh, continuing on, we have the new design for the Skytrain. Uh, this was one of the first builds I actually did on the tutorial world, and it's been completely uh, revamped, that's for sure. So, new uh, version of it actually in flight, 
uh, for the Skytrain. Really happy with the way it came out. It looks really nice. And we also have the landed version down here below, which I'm actually surprised came out actually surprisingly good. I think it's one of the best kind of angled uh, aircraft I've actually done. It actually looks really nice for, uh, you know, what I was trying to do with it and everything and landed. I think it actually came out pretty nice for it. So uh, the B or the C-47 uh, Skytrain. So pretty nice there and then uh the next build we have i don't have a plot for yet because i have to move all these plots and readjust it to to the uh you know new vehicles and different links and stuff like that uh so we do have a new design here for the course here as well which was a much needed redesign the previous course here was so messed up on so many levels so uh definitely needed a redesign and this course here definitely delivers it uh has a nice kind of camouflage pattern with the cyan and the blue uh, but i really do like the way that looks came out really nice uh, we also have the landed carrier version, so it's got the wings folded up for it. Um, pretty nice, like the way that came out as well. And then we have just a standard kind of landed version here of the uh, Corsair, so nothing too fancy for it. Uh, but came out really nice, and I'm overall really happy with the way it came out. And those are just some, that's pretty much all the aircraft I've done so far for the American World War II line. Uh, I do plan on slowly working through and redoing all of them, including the B-17, B-24, uh, B-29, all that kind of stuff. I definitely want to redo those. Um, so that's something that we'll get to and then it's on to the German line behind it and everything like that. But uh, so far, you know, good work in progress for the aircraft. Um, and that's kind of like the main thing that's gone on over here in um, this kind of section. The next huge thing that I've been working on is a two to one scaled Seed 5 Galaxy. This is for a Patreon request uh, from one of my uh, Patreon supporters. And it's, uh, it's definitely, a, uh, definitely a tough build to do. Uh, the C-5 is really a uh, huge aircraft, one of the world's biggest, really, and especially in military, and it's gigantic. Uh, it's, I believe, 150-something blocks long, about somewhere around there, uh, in 2 to 1 scale. So you can just imagine how big this thing actually is. Um, just kind of giving you guys an idea. I've shown pictures of it and stuff like that, but you guys really don't get a true kind of sense of how big this thing is once you, like, until you actually, like, see it kind of up close and everything and i mean this thing is this thing is massive it's it's huge like this thing is designed to fit like a full c-130 fuselage inside it inside of it for storage like it's it's pretty crazy so this is again a work of progress and not a whole lot done on it um so far just a lot of work on the fuselage really um so there's not really a whole lot to show for it but uh hopefully it'll be coming uh soon as a completed build and hopefully soon after as a tutorial for that patreon request um anyways that's about it for the c5 so moving on to our next section, we have our War Thunder tech tree that we're working on. Now, uh, this was a project I kind of announced near the release of the last tutorial world, and I kind of covered it um, in that sense. Uh, but basically, this was a project to kind of try to recreate every War Thunder vehicle, or uh, for the moment, ground vehicle uh, in-game into Minecraft. And it's been going really well so far. A lot of it has been, you know, different variants of the Panzer IV, different variants of the Sherman, and... Uh, you know different versions of different variants of the same tank so a lot of it is kind of like just like you know copy paste change you know bits here and there uh but you know it still is a whole new build really in its own thing and i've tried my best to make sure that you know even panzer fours that look similar to each other have slight differences and stuff like that that you know will make them a little bit more distinguishable and everything like that um so currently i have tier one or uh, my bad uh we have light tanks and uh medium tanks done for tier three i don't remember how far i was into tier two when i started uh, or when i made the last tutorial world uh, post uh but we do have the um heavy tanks done for tier two um i think we definitely had the medium tanks done because those have been done for a little while uh we have the tank destroyers all complete as well and we also have the um anti-aircraft uh vehicles all done for uh tier two um, so that's all done there, and then we, over here we have, obviously, the start of Tier 3. Tier 3, again, I've only done the light tanks and medium tanks so far for it. However, it's, uh, you know, been going pretty decent so far for it, and I think it's, you know, coming together pretty nicely. Tier 3 definitely has a lot more, kind of, in, you know, the sense of vehicles, really. I think Tier 3 is probably the largest, um, really, section of vehicles in War Thunder. Um, but, uh, definitely really cool, and is definitely, you know, starting to, you know, get get there with the War Thunder vehicles. We still have a bunch of tiers to go, but uh, we're definitely getting there. And uh, cool thing is, a lot of these vehicles have been added to their plots. So again, that just kind of expands upon um, our already huge lines of vehicles, which are absolutely start insane and really growing fast. So uh, cool uh, new stuff with that, and um, that's going to pretty much wrap it up. 
Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, Tutorial World update version 13. Hopefully, you guys enjoy some of the new additions to the world and everything like that. Again, unfortunately, you know, I couldn't, you know, get some more done for you guys in the world and everything. But hopefully, you guys still do enjoy the uh, new builds that have been complete and are on the Tutorial World. Anyways, uh, you know, hopefully, you guys do enjoy the world. Feel free to download it. Link is, again, down in the description and all that fun stuff. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next tutorials. Tutorials will be resuming uh, pretty much you know today so look forward to them and i'll see you guys real soon with more videos anyways uh thank you guys for watching as always uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe enjoy the tutorial world and i'll see you guys next time